Hey guys, welcome back. So on the previous two videos, we explained the basics of sum if, count if, sum ifs, and count ifs functions, and we've also seen how we can sum and count between dates using sum ifs and count ifs. In this video, we're going to see how we can sum and count between times using sum ifs and count ifs. And if you haven't seen the two previous videos, I'll leave you the links below in the description. So I've got our data set here where we have the transaction time and the sale amount. So let's say we run a website and we have sales during the 24 hours and we have the data here, the transaction time for the sale and the sale amount. And let's say that we want to compute or calculate the number of transactions and the total sales for each 30 minute interval of the day. So for example here, this interval, zero, zero hours, zero, zero minutes, and zero, zero seconds, that means that this is 12 a.m. or 12 midnight until 12.30 a.m. So this spans for 30 minutes. And then zero, zero hours, 30 minutes, zero, zero seconds, this is from 12.30 a.m. up until just before 1 a.m. So up until 12.59 minutes and 59 seconds. And I've got a note column here that you can see that explains what time the interval spans between. So this is actually a note column that I created. It's not part of the data, but I just created it for more clarification. So as you can see here, first interval is between 12 till 12.30, and then this second interval is between 12.30 till one, and so on and so forth. So first of all, let's compute the number of transactions that happen in these 30 minute intervals. So we're going to use the count ifs function here. And for criteria range one, the range containing our first criteria is actually the transaction time because we want to compute between this time here, zero, zero, which is midnight till 30 minutes after. So the criteria range one is going to be actually the transaction time. And I'm going to absolute that. And then criteria one is going to be greater than or equal to, and we're going to concatenate that onto the time as we learned on the two previous videos and then criteria range two is also going to be our transaction time and then criteria two is going to be less than and we're going to concatenate that onto and this is actually the tricky part here so we have only the starting time of the interval so on the second criteria we need to put the starting time plus 30 minutes. So how can we do that? We can use the time function and the time function is part of the date and time functions in Excel. And if you need to learn more about date and time, if you're not very familiar with how date and time work in Excel, you can always watch my Excel date and time masterclass. I'll leave you the link below in the description. So with the time function, the hour is going to be the hour of our interval. And then the minute is going to be the minute for our interval. So I'm going to use the minute function here and I'm going to add 30 minutes because we want it to be greater than or equal to our interval and then less than which is we are in criteria two now it's going to be less than our interval plus 30 minutes so we're actually building here our interval using the time function with the hour being the the same hour of our interval and the minute being the minute of our interval plus 30 we're adding 30 minutes to that and then the second you can either use the second function and use the same seconds of our interval, or you could put a zero. It's up to you. Both would work. So second function here, and then the same seconds for our interval. And then we're going to close our brackets and close the brackets for the count ifs as well and press enter. And as you can see here, we are starting to get results. If I double click and drag the formula down, you can see here we get some results. So let's actually verify our results here. So for example, here for interval 1230, which spans between 1230 AM and 1 AM, we have only one transaction. So let's filter our data here. So I'm going to click on our filters. Number of filters is greater than or equal to, and I want to filter between 0, 0, 30, 0, 0, so greater than or equal to 12.30 a.m. and then less than 1 a.m. And if I click OK here, you can see we have only one transaction, which is correct. I'll press Ctrl and Z here to remove my filter. Let's verify another one here. So between 1.30 to 2 a.m., we have three transactions. So I'm going to go again to number filters greater than or equal to, and then 0, 1, 30, 0, 0, and then less than 2 a.m. And I'm going to click OK here. As you can see here, we have three transactions. So this is the correct answer. So our formula is working correctly. 
We can also compute our total sales using the sumifs function and we're going to use the same thing basically but we're just going to add one more input to the sumifs function which is the column where we're going to do the summation. So we're going to write equal sumifs. So we're going to add the sum range. This is the extra input here we're going to give to the sumifs function and then criteria range 1 is going to be actually the transaction time and then criteria 1 is going to be greater than or equal to and we're going to concatenate that onto our interval and then criteria range 2 is going to be our transaction time as well and then criteria 2 is where we will build the time that we need to compute until so we're going to use less than and we're going to concatenate that onto the time function where the hour is the hour of our interval and the minute is the minute for our interval as well and we're going to add 30 minutes to that and then the seconds could be either the second of our interval or we could put a zero. So both would work fine. And we're going to close our brackets and we're going to press enter. And as you can see here, we're starting to get results. Double click and send the formula down. And let's give that a currency. So United States dollars, for example. As you can see here, we're starting to get results. And I remember here that the transaction, the one and only transaction that was between 12.30 to 1 a.m. was $100. Let's verify this one. This is a big one. 1096. That's between 2 and 230. So let's go here. Filter. Number filters. Greater than or equal to. And that's going to be between 2 a.m. And less than 230 a.m. And we're going to click OK here. And if we sum the sale amounts here, we've got 1096. So we have the right result. Okay. So that's it guys on how you can sum between time intervals using the sum ifs and you can count as well between time intervals using the count ifs functions. Of course, if your intervals are less or more, so if they are 15 minutes intervals, so instead of adding 30 minutes, you add 15 minutes and if there are 60 minutes interval, then you can add 60 minutes and so on and so forth. So you can modify your time function in the form that solves your problem basically. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, press the like button. Make sure to share it with your friends as well. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you'd be notified with each new video. You can download the example workbook through the link below in the description. Make sure as well to check my Excel courses links below in the description as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.